Since 1958, the FAA has been the sole regulator of airspace in the United States. The agency has broad authority over aviation, and it has the ability to define the scope of its authority, as two young entrepreneurs, Alain Guichard and Matt Bosca, discovered when they started a flight sharing app for private flights in 2013. Uh, we created an online bulletin board where you could see um, in your area you know, where pilots are, are going. And if you're interested in, in any of their destinations or even just to go flying with them, you know, our website facilitated that. It's a very simple idea. So it's, it's not changing anything dramatically, but it is a dramatic shift in the way pilots and passengers connect. In 2014, on the brink of receiving venture capital funding, they received a letter from the FAA. Alan and Matt had sent a letter to the FAA asking for clarification. They believed their business model was permissible under existing regulations, which do permit private pilots to share expenses. The FAA disagreed. FlightNow came to my attention uh, when a reporter for the Wall Street Journal called me. And he said that there's this company that is the UberX for airplanes uh, that has been shut down by the FAA. What do you think? And then what we found out was actually that um, you know, pilots had reached out to the local airport, uh, local FAA district office called a FISDO. Um, and in more than one instance, the, the FISDO you know, told them not to post any of their flights on flight now. The FAA said, well, this is a, uh, this is a safety concern. We've got to make sure that um, pilots are uh, properly trained and uh, all of those things to ensure that aviation is safe for passengers. FAA regulations have helped ensure a safe national airspace, but is that regulation stifling innovation? Back in the day, we used to communicate by bulletin board and, you know, snail mail, but now we send emails and have our social networks online, right? Um, so that's all that's changed here, and yet we got a knee-jerk reaction from the FAA, unfortunately, that shut our company down. And so Flight Now was born captive into that regulatory environment and actually died captive in that regulatory environment. Why did the FAA determine that Matt and Alon's business model wasn't feasible? Do the FAA's regulations guarantee safety or restrict innovation? Should we have to choose between safety and innovation?